foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence. And double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth well, and that continues to teach his truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few brothers and sisters listening and learning. This may be one of the shortest lessons I've done, but I want to do it anyway, okay? Because again, the scripture says, quench not the spirit. And if the spirit's on you to do a lesson, if you've been thinking about a particular thing, push it out. Why quench your spirit? But the name of this lesson is going to be Look what they done to Yahweh Shai. Look what our own people done to Yahweh Shai. This is Isaiah 52 and 14. As many were astonished at thee. Astonished means bewildered, dazed, stunned. His visage was more marred than more than any man. His visage was his appearance, his countenance, his flesh was more marred more than any man. So when you have a shy, his his image was more marred. Because this is when you have a shy comes back. He's gonna have his angelic body and he's gonna show you what his old body, what they done to him, as it was. And when you go into that word marred, it goes into this disfigurement. Disfigurement of face. They dis they disfigured him. They were slap oh. they were slapping him. See, and now when I talk about emotions, that's when you get emotional. But I, again, I'm not gonna doing this. Lesson, I'm not gonna get emotional. But if this don't make you feel a particular way, I don't know what to tell you. His face were more marred than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So it's indescribable. How he looked, his face was, they disfigured his face. That's how much pain he was going through. Because you remember what they done to him. I quickly want to go to John 8 and 22. 18 and 22. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Slapping him, punching him. All this they were doing. And them same individuals are back here today back here today to receive their judgment eighteen this is John eighteen and twenty two bear me just a minute you see what this is this is John eighteen and like your battery's running out, I've got to be quick with this. This is John 18, and we jump straight to 19. And the high priest then asked Yahushua of his disciples and of his doctrine. And that's why it's not too wise to be running around wanting to wanting to be a high priest, trying to bestow that title upon yourself. Because yeah, you had righteous high priests, but you also had wicked high priests. Then asked Yahushua of his disciples. And of his doctrine, and Yahweh shall answer them. I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in a synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Because he was out in the open, he was clear. Why also me ask them which have heard me, which I have said unto them? Behold now thou, but behold now they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Yahweh Shai with the palm of his hand. Saying, answer thou the high priest so? Yahweh shall answer them, if I have spoken evil, bear witness of evil. But if well, why smitest thou me? Okay. And this this is this what you have this what they done. This is what they done. You know? In other words, they slapped him. Okay, a hard slap in the face with the palm. Bear me just a minute. And, and, and you're trying to bring on this side, you're trying to gather all Israel together. This is the problem. This is what men are not looking at. 
You can't be unified with guys that are against Yahweh Shai. The guys that don't want to repent. You had those that were doing things in ignorance that were against Yahweh Shai. But these men that repented, they repented because they were of the elect. That's why I always say there's a difference between being in the truth and going off and being in the truth, but you're wicked. You've just tripped up in the truth. But if that's your if, if that's your lot, that's your lot. Go to John 19. Yahweh sees everything. Everything. This is John 19. Then Pilate therefore took Yahweh and scorched him. And the soldiers plaited the crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put him in a purple robe and said, Hell, king of the Jews. They were mocking. And they smote him with their, ha their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. There was no fight, fault found in him. It's the same thing in his truth. Men are looking for fault. Bro, I ain't got... You ain't really got the time, when you're so focused on the truth, you ain't got the time to look for thoughts. You'll point out thoughts in brothers with the um with the hope that brothers can improve in particular things. But you're not searching for iniquity. Okay? They found no fault in him. Pilate said he found no fault. But the Pharisees, the wicked individuals, they were persistent. They were persistent on trying to condemn him. Then came Yahushua forth, wearing crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man, when the chief priests, and there, there, there we go again, chief priests, because they're the ones that gave him up. Therefore, and the officers, so the chief priest, and it says, and the officers, so the chief priest, they were rolling him with what? Officers. Okay, policemen. Saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find, find no fault in him. And the Jews answered him, We have a law. By our law he ought to die. We have a law. You see what I mean? Their own laws, they were making up their own righteousness. By our law he ought to die because he made himself the son of the most high. No, he didn't make himself. The heavenly father made him the son of the most high. He came from the most high. He was just stating the obvious. But they had a problem with that. It was all jealousy. It was all envy. And when Pilate therefore heard this saying, he was more afraid because he knew he was the son of the Most High. He knew. He knew. Okay? Read this. Baba Kashar, brothers, read the scriptures. What was going on around them times? Read the scriptures. And that may be hard... But you've got to read the scriptures. And when we're reading these things, you've got to look around and observe and have the sermon and see, well, what's going on today? Who's moving like the chief priest? Who's moving like the wicked chief priest? And who's moving like the wicked Pharisees? This will give you what? More eyesight. This will make you more circumspect. Because they're not going to say, nobody in this truth is going to say, oh, well, yeah, I'm, of the, I'm the wicked chief priest. Nobody's going to say that. It's for you to identify. But like the scriptures say in Revelations 1 and 7, Behold, he's going to come in chariots, and every eye shall see him. And there, those that also pierced him, so they're in for a lot of trouble, especially those that done that to Yahweh Shai, especially those that gave him up. They're in for a lot of trouble. So with this lesson, I'm going to shut off here, and until the next time, Shalom.